Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to more of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dynasty Series deck profiles. This will be the final deck profile of the Duelist Kingdom Series. It's me, Cooper, and we're going to be talking about my buddy, Bones. Now before I get into Bones, I need to address some of the characters I left out of this series and why I left them out. Number one, the Paradox Brothers. The reason I left them out is because I wanted to. Number two, Panic. I believe Panic was the only person I was going to give a slot, but because it ended in 13, I didn't like it, and 12 I felt was the perfect number, plus I didn't want to get 13 friends together. That sounded like ass. So I decided on Bones, and the reason I decided on Bones and not Panic and not both of them is because I gave Panic's card, Castle of Dark Illusions, to Bones. Because Bones' ace monster, as we're about to get into, is the Pumpkin. And in the anime, Pumpkin had a bullshit effect, where now it has a really confusing effect, where it gains 100 attack and defense if Castle of Dark Illusions is face up on the field. So I took one of Panic's cards and I gave it to Bones because for some reason, they ended up working together, because Panic uses a Fiend deck, just like Bakora. But what's the point of giving him a Fiend deck if his monster Castle of Dark Illusions only buffs zombie monsters? Hey, I have this zombie kid in the corner here just waiting for his chance to shine. Here we go, I decided to give it to him. I gave Bones Castle of Dark Illusions. I'm sorry for those of you, I said these decks are going to be 90% accurate, Bones' deck is a lie. I'm going to make it 80% accurate, and I hope you can live with that. If you can't, then uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into his rare cards. Bones' rare cards are... All I have to talk about is his ultimate card, the Call of the Haunted. This card is exclusive to Bones. This is the card that Bones made popular and is one of the most pop uh, is one of the most famous cards from back in the day. Call of the Haunted was so used back in the day that people uh, people love this card. I used to use two in every one of my decks, then they limited it to one, and then I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh after a while. So what, what was I going to do? Call of the Haunted has gone through lots of limits, semi-limits, and all that kind of stuff. Eventually, they just decided it was too slow because, you know, the game became fast as hell. But ignoring that, Bones, you got Call of the Haunted. That's one of the craziest cards. Everyone and their mother from old, from the old days loves Call of the Haunted. And you're the one who made it popular. So you know what, my buddy? I love you even more now. So that's his rare card. I have decided, because his deck did not show off enough monsters, spells, and traps, that since I'm making his deck only 80% accurate, the, cards, the rare cards I'm going to add to his deck are Tribute to the Doom, and Premature Burial. They're very old cards, they're from the old packs that uh, existed in Duelist Kingdom times, and I feel like they would fit his deck perfectly. So Tribute to the Doom and Premature Burial are going into Bones' deck. He will be the only person to have these cards. Very good cards in my opinion. Now let us get into Bones' stats. Bones' attack stat is actually average. I got, I don't, I, I was gonna, and, and I thought I was gonna have to give him a bad attack stat, but then I looked at most of his monsters. Most of his monsters are above average. Now, a lot of these I kind of had to make up on my own, but here we go, let's go through the list. He's got the Dragon Zombie. Dragon Zombie's rocking a 1600 attack. Armored Zombie's rocking 1500. It actually is tied with the, with the average stat. I gave him Goal with an Appetite. It's an old zombie monster, fits his time period. Boom, the Snake Hair, he does eventually use that. Boom, 1500. A lot of them are at the average or above average. Then we get into his problems. Tribute monsters, he has Zanki and Crawling Dragon. Now, he only had these in the show because they were eventually going to turn into the zombie forms, Armored Zombie and Dragon Zombie, but what are you going to do? He also runs Crass Clown, funny enough, because it eventually becomes the Clown Zombie, which those cards we don't even need to talk about. They're kind of just low tier. Even though I love Crass Clown, they're kind of just low tier. His only tribute monster, if you don't count Crawling Dragon and Zanki, I guess we have to count those, but they suck ass. His only real tribute monster that is in this deck to actually do something is the Pumpkin. The Pumpkin is rocking an 1800 attack stat, which is below average, but because it has an effect that is about buffing itself, I put it at the average, which is why Bones, my buddy, 
just barely hit the average in attack stats. Maybe it's a little because of the bias I have in my heart, but honestly, most of his monsters do reach around the average, if not a little above average. So, there we go. Now, we're going to get into his defense stats. Yes, my buddy Bones has the worst defense stat in the game. This should come as a surprise to no one. He is running a zombie deck. The only reason his defense stat isn't a complete zero is because his tribute monster, the Pumpkin, has 2,000 defense, and that's not terrible, and he could buff it, and because I put Castle of Dark Illusions in his deck, and that's his, his only good defense monster. At 1930, it's actually really good. The only reason he's not at zero defense is because of these two cards. Other than that, I would put him at one. Obviously, he has Call of the Haunted, so maybe I could have given him two defense, but at the end of the day, he's only going to get one. He gets one defense because the rest of his monsters bring down the average so hard because Clown Zombie, zero defense. Dragon Zombie, zero defense. Armored Zombie, zero defense. The 13th Grave, 900 defense. Graveyard of the Hand of Invitation, 900 defense. Uh, Snake Hair, 1,200 defense. That's not the worst, but it's not good at all. Go, go with Appetite, 1,200 defense. Crawling Dragon, which is a one tribute monster, 1,400 defense. That's 600 below the average. Zanki, 1,700 defense. Not the worst, but that's still 300 below the average. Everything except Pumpkin and Castle of Dark Illusions is below average. He's got terrible defense. There's nothing he can do. He made a zombie deck. When you make a zombie deck, expect to have bad D. So now we can move on to Bones' speed stat is the same problem. It's actually pretty ass. Call of the Haunted giving him that special summoning power and premature burial giving him that special summoning power is the reason why his speed stat isn't one he's not the slowest guy in the game he's got at least two speed that's something to talk about but that's it that's all he's got the rest of his monsters are just normal monsters they don't do anything he doesn't have elegant egotist something to search his deck he doesn't have anything to search his deck actually so he just has to do this. He doesn't have a way to special summon new monsters. He can just summon the ones that already died. Which I guess is kind of his whole gimmick, but whatever. So because Bones is all about the graveyard, he's all about summoning from the graveyard, I did give him one more speed stat, even though the rest of his deck is just slow as hell. There's nothing to do. Literally nothing for his deck to do. So that's going to be his stats. Attack, pretty much average, not the worst. Defense, ass. Speed, pretty freaking bad, if not ass. But now we can get into his brick stat, and his brick stat is unbreakable. You can't kill, you can't keep this man down. Bones has way too much special, uh, uh, graveyard summoning potential, has way too many monsters that don't require a tribute. Yes, he has a Zanki and a Crawling Dragon and Pumpkin. Those three tribute monsters are not going to, even if he drew all three of those, they're not going to weigh down his hand. He will always have other cards. He has three copies of Dragon Zombie, three copies of Armored Zombie, three copies of Clown Zombie. He's got Snake Hair. He's got uh, Crass Clown. He's got Gold with an Appetite. He's got way too many monsters he can normal summon that are, that are going to make sure he doesn't uh, ever have to worry about breaking. Plus, Premature Burial and Call of the Haunted will always make sure he has a monster on the field. This man will never brick. Anyone that gets bones, you will never have to worry about breaking. Which is why we're going to get into Bones' potential, which is a one and a half. Whoever gets Bones in this tournament, you will most likely not win the tournament. I'm sorry. He is my buddy and I put him in the tournament because I love him. But that doesn't mean you're going to win. If I end up getting Bones, I will be happy just because I like the character. Other than that, there's no real way for him to win. His best monster has 1800 attack. Yes, it can be buffed by Castle of Dark Illusions. He does have some equip spells in his deck, the weak 300 ones, of course. I think they call it, what, Crystal something? Dark Violet Crystal? For his zombie monsters, 300 attack? It's not good, guys. It's not good. Look, look, Bones, he's going to have to rock an 1800 attack point monster. And at most, if he was lucky, I guess it could get to maybe 2600 attack without an equip spell. But he would have to flip Castle of Dark Illusions. And then, I mean, I, I mean, he would have to summon Pumpkin and then flip Castle of Dark Illusions and keep Castle of Dark Illusions safe for this to work. So it's kind of a hard combo to pull off. But at the end of the day, Bones could try to pull off that combo, and I wish him nothing but the best. So guys, that is the last character I have to mention for this tournament. Hopefully by now I will get to the roulette. I have not gone to it at this point in time, but I will get to the roulette with my friends. We will find out who's going to get what. Please, God, let me get Joey. If not Joey, let me get freaking, I don't know, Yugi or Mai or somebody that I like. 
but we'll see. And if you give me bones, I'll still be happy because I like bones. That's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the actual battle of the Duelist Kingdom Dynasty Tournament.